Hey everybody, it's Tyler with Gaia Force Gaming, and I have a, another local gameplay video for you guys coming from our locals at Cool Comics and Games in Cape Coral, Florida. Uh, we are playing with the modified rules from the Ultimate Cups for this month at the time of recording. On the left is Gavin playing Bloom Lord, and on the right is Justin playing Old Force Vidramon. So Gavin starts out strong with uh, lots of these new Palmons that you draw at the beginning of the turn. So he's drawing three cards a turn. Uh, but Justin over here already has uh, his level four and a tamer set up. So not doing too bad overall. We are going to see Gavin here just start doing them Bloom Lord things. Starting to go wide, getting that board set up. Uh, he does get that Agitar Mon. And he is just going to evolve to the Blossom. Right into that Bloom. Suspending. He's going to gain a 4 memory right back. And swing for 3 checks. Justin not being able to play that Leomon. Uh, so either choosing not to or doesn't have one in hand. I'm going to assume doesn't have one in hand. So that part is rough. And then we are just going to see that... Red Vegemon come down, putting Justin over at his three that he would go to with Davis anyway. Uh, Justin now gonna swing over the Sunflowmon. Effect to draw some cards with Inheritables. Right into that Old Force to play the Arena. Unsuspend, gain Blocker, and Evasion. Uh, bouncing card. Just, just short of enough to bounce the Bloom Lord, I believe. I think he needs one more. Or maybe he's just choosing not to because he wants to swing over the Bloom Lord instead of adding it back to hand. Is able to bounce a level three because of the dual tamer. Cool little tech there in all fours. Is choosing to go for security. Playing the arena unsuspending. He does still have the blocker and evasion till the end of next turn. So here they're they're talking about something. I'm not sure what. Uh, <laughs> and Bloom is back up. He's gonna just play that Palmon, do a search, grabbing the red Vegemon. We're gonna see that evolution for one, the Digisorption. Are we gonna see Bloom attack? 14 2 checks. Alright, he just takes it. I'm assuming Hydromon coming down. No, oh, just into the cherry. Ooh. So, very weird spot to be in here. Put him at a, uh, a bunch of memory, but you got to do what you got to do. He can redirect to a suspended Digimon once this turn with Cherrymon's effect. But now that old force deck is just so set up. Are gonna activate the old force effect to activate Rena. Play another tamer. Because Rena lets him activate on Digivolving when played. Unsuspend, gain blocker evade. Hit for that one check. Does he have enough to wombo combo? I mean, he has plenty of memory. But he will eventually run out of tamers. Another arena. Keep the machine gun going. You do see an evolution there. We are going to swing again. Using arena to get V tamer tie. 
resolve all these effects. It is a Samadhi Santi, which will just suspend that. Does help, goes a long way to not getting machine gunned all the way down. The question is how many more tamers does he have? We are going to see the turn pass of the V-Tamer tie, but I'll gain the memory back. We are going to swing over the bloom finally. Drawing a card with the V-Tamer tie, then evolving into the old force, playing uh, another dual tamer, unsuspending both. So, bloom in a tricky situation, but he just needs to get one attack through uh, is gonna he does have two blockers because that all force is still blocker evade though the one of them I don't believe the other one is uh, though it might be he played a lot of arenas that turn he might have chosen different targets right now that I'm thinking back on it I believe that's just a scoop from bloom Lord so all force taking game one They shuffle it for game two. Take this time to leave a comment on who you think is going to win this set after that game one. Are we going to see Old Force take it home, or do you think Bloom Lord is going to come from behind with consecutive back to back wins? Also, let me know what you're looking forward to in the Ultimate Cup formats. What decks you've been really enjoying. Uh, I've played some Machine Dramon. I had a lot of fun with that. I do also really like Bloom Lord because uh, I've already had that built, so that wasn't very hard to just tweak up. Uh, Blue Flare seems very strong. Here, Old Force is going to start us off. Goes in that Vmon and just plays another Vmon to search out that arena. Not a bad start. When you start climbing the back, right back to one with Agitar, which is right where you want to be with Bloom Lord. Starts to uh, kind of go wide, but didn't have a lot of memory to stay his turn, unfortunately. Luckily, the Old Force player could not capitalize on that, so he's going to continue going wide this turn. With a little bit more to work with. <coughs> Does evolve to Bloom. Suspending, gaining back lots of memory. see those two checks evolving to another bloom suspending himself gaining more memory two more checks oh three checks now because he gets to play the card off the argomon inheritable and we just evolved to agitar to put him to one and that's came two scooped up by old force So that's a quick game two. We're going to shuffle up and go into game three now. One more time. At this point, who do we think's taking this game home? Both decks had pretty explosive games so far. So, interesting to see how this modified format shakes out. I think I think it's a really good breath of fresh air. Just this, the, the modified rules. I'm excited to see not only this format, but future formats that they end up picking for us. We do see that mulligan come down from Old Force. Looks like Bloom is also mulliganing. Ooh, Old Force chose to go first. That's interesting. We do see that old arena drop, searching out a Vmon. 
do see just that double Palmon opener. Very strong. Right into a single memory for evolving. Just a game of setting up a little by little until someone makes the decisive first big swing. Ooh, giving him that Mimi is a little rough. Now he's going to have a lot of memory to do what he wants to. He has three stacks that can attack this turn. This honestly could be it. With how Bloom Lord works and how little setup is on the old Forces side. This could definitively be enough. You see the Digisorption start to happen. There's that first Bloom. Gaining the four memory. One more with Agitar. Swinging with piercing for three checks. Second bloom. Getting that memory back. Swinging for two checks. Is there a third bloom? No. Oh, that was just the Argomon effect. Is there the third bloom? No, Old Force just scoops it up. Oh, all right, guys. Well, let me know you like that game. Uh, and uh, like, comment, subscribe for more gameplay videos. Uh, our locals are doing modified format, so I'm going to have some more of those coming your way. I have a bunch of other cool videos in store too. Uh, hopefully, I don't put those out before I release this one, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and your continued support. Uh, links to join our Discord is in the doobly-doo. Uh, other than that, yeah, I love you guys. See you later. Bye.